Hi, Michelle. I just wanted to comment on your video for Gestalt versus Existential Therapy. And um, I really like the way that you talked about if the theories were compatible, the strengths and the weaknesses of if they were compatible with scriptures. And um, when you were talking about Gestalt Therapy and how it uh, made you think of Jeremiah 29, I... Um, I can see that. I didn't think about that when I was reading about it, but it does make a lot of sense. Um, but you know, it all depends on who the person is that is, um, experiencing the scripture. Cause, um, if, a, if a person never had the knowledge of, you know, the Bible, then they might not apply that automatically to their thinking, but, um, a Christian can definitely apply it because they, um, they may know or have somebody who can guide them into thinking about how the scripture aligns with um, that part of just all therapy. And then with existential therapy, I agree with you. Like, it's not really overarchingly aligning with um, a Christian worldview, but I think that the points that you made about how it does align with uh, scripture was really good, and I appreciate those comments. Um, yeah, I mean, existential therapy, it's, to me, I just feel like it's such a, a broad way of thinking about theories and techniques. I mean, there's so many different things you can do within existential theory that you could apply almost any religion and you could apply just about anything <laughs> within it. So I don't know if that really makes sense, but, um... I definitely think that you could use existential theory in a way that would be um, in keeping with a Christian worldview, even though um, the theory was not created by somebody who was creating it with a Christian worldview. Um, as a Christian, we definitely, you know, people who are Christians can definitely take their, their worldview and apply it. Um, to what they know about the worldview. So I think that is a pretty uh, interesting point to make.